and three years ago, the word trillion just didn't exist. And I couldn't imagine how in heaven's name we are going to get trillions of dollars in order to make this happen. Today, the word trillion or trillions is a common word, and it's quite evident that uh, those are the kinds of dollars that we need to move uh, America forward. Look, uh, I know that for uh, first time listeners, this may seem like an overwhelming project. The bottom line is it has been accomplished at least four times in our history. Of course, with Roosevelt, Hoover and, and uh, Lincoln. And this, if there was ever a time for a project to bring us together as Americans, there's such political aminence in, in, uh, in Washington. There's such division. Um, there is no cooperation. And this project could bring us together. Not only the 25 million jobs, the high paying jobs, not just the fact that we would be able to connect the broadband in Pennsylvania. We have over a million citizens in Pennsylvania that cannot connect, whether it's telehealth, whether it's education, or just strictly business or robotics. It's suppressing our progress. This project here, if there was ever a time for this to take place, it is now. And my goal here is not just to talk about the infrastructure, but to talk about the fact of what Carolyn said earlier. It's no taxes on the consumer. And it does not mean that you have to go back to to the Congress every time you need money to build something. This has proven itself time and time again. This is a time for us to come together as Americans. This isn't a Democrat issue, a Republican issue, independent. This is an American issue. This is how we catapult America into the 21st century. I'm so pleased to be a part of it. Pennsylvania, we just put up a Facebook page we are now trying to get out to the public. So the public now has to put the pressure on our congressmen and our senators. So they then pass House Resolution 3339. That's what we have to do. Let's all come together on this.